Hello, this is Mohammed Imam, and this is my final project for Lit 1000. So I picked um, the yellow wallpaper as my text, and I wanted to replicate it in terms of a simulation to give the users an experience of how uh, the narrator might have felt um, while being in uh, the rest cure room or in confinement. So to do this first, I had to figure out how I can make a mansion or, uh, or a house from the Victorian era. So I looked for assets online and took my time to build up some scenes to replicate um, a Victorian household. So as you can see, there's, there's a task on the top left corner of the screen, and the task would be to explore the house and then to find my uh, rest cure room. So going in here, this will be the rest cure room or the room that the entire game or the simulation will be um, happening. Um, it's the, basically the confinement room of the narrator. So here we are. Um, I tried to replicate the yellow wallpaper uh, the best that I could. Um, Obviously, I cannot create assets myself, so I had to look for assets online, and this is probably the best that I could have found. So the room is pretty simple. Um, I tried my best to look at the text and replicate as much as possible, but uh, there's not much information to imagine. So this is what I imagined when I was reading. So this is what I created um, from the text. Over here, we have a little journaling area. I know that this wouldn't be normal because um, her husband would um, know that she's journaling, but we just have it for the sake of the game. So we have a location to read the text on. Okay, so the, our first task was to explore the room. I think we already pretty much explored it. Our second task is to take rest. We just go to the bed and press E. Every time we take rest, the game, uh, the simulation will progress to the next level or the next uh, day, or in our case, the next time she writes, because the writing is actually um, separated uh, from uh, between days. So now we are on level two here. Uh, not much has changed um, other than the pedestal. I think it has moved or not. I don't know. Um, so if we now our task has changed, now we can journal. So let's go ahead and click the journaling button. And over here, I just pretty much um, uh, put in the text to for the readers. So each text would pretty much represent um, the level that you're in. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to read the whole thing. That's going to take a lot of time. OK, so we're done journaling. Now we're going to go ahead and take rest. Keep in mind, this is all she could do in um, the text as well. So this is all you can do in this simulation as well. All right. Now we're in level three. Um, looks like some stuff has moved around. The pedestal and the chair, obviously, because she was in the room. So pretty much stuff will move around all the time. All right, let's go ahead and journal. OK, we're going to go ahead and take rest and move on to the next time. All right, looks like this stuff has moved around quite a bit now. Um, OK, so keep in mind, weeks have passed. If we go out to the journal, you can see the 4th of July is over already. So it has been a long time since she's been in here. Um, all right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take rest. Okay, looks like uh, the chair has fallen over. The bed is pretty much 
on an angle. So is the couch over here. The pedestal is over here. Looks like she is uh, feeling a little crazy so far. So right now she has started to analyze the wallpaper and the pattern of the wallpaper. But um, due to time limits and stuff, I couldn't really create much um, activities to replicate that. But the journal should help the readers um, understand that at this point she is starting to analyze the patterns and everything of the um, wallpaper. <clears throat> Now let's take some rest. Okay, looks like some stuff has appeared. Looks like everything is all over the place. Let's go back to the journal. Looks like she's starting to go crazy. Um, it says life is much more exciting, something new, something better. So it's, she's talking about the wallpaper here. The only thing that she's worried about right now is the wallpaper and uh, the pattern of it. <clears throat> okay, let's move on to the next time. Okay, looks like the world has turned yellow and all she can think about is the wallpaper and everything else is just messed up over here. Her imagination is totally skewered and the only thing she can think about is the wallpaper. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and journal. So as you can see, she thinks she's feeling much better, but um, in truth, we know that she's starting to go crazy because she's just thinking about the wallpaper and uh, overanalyzing it. Looks like things are floating now. And obviously she has gone pretty much crazy at this point. Um, and the text should match it. She thinks she has discovered something. Um, she thinks there's something inside the wallpaper at this point. So all of this is a way to replicate how the reader might have felt during the time. Oh gosh, okay. Now, um, in order to replicate a lady in the wall, I tried to uh, find something um, that may show what she saw. Um, not the best uh, model, I can say that, because this looks very scary. Um, I think the woman gets out in daytime, and I'll tell you why privately. I've seen her. You can see that she's pretty much, pretty much crazy at this point. She sees a lady. She's she's trying to find the lady, help the lady. So that's what I tried to replicate over here. And you can see again the room is all messed up, and that's a way to show that she is all crazy right now. Now she's seeing multiple ladies. She's she's having. Um, other mental problems, obviously. Um, it's obviously the last day now, and she's excited to get out. She's excited to um, finally be free. And um, obviously now things are gonna go down. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't really capture uh, what is happening in the story in terms of uh, you know her calling people in, and then John coming in and stuff like that because I would need animation, obviously. Uh, I didn't have enough time or that much of experience to do that, but um, let's move on to the next time. And this is the final level. This is where her and John would faint. Um, so that's what I tried to replicate with the man in the suit. And yeah, that's pretty much the game. You can see everything is floating. She has fainted at this point, but I would assume that at this point she was totally crazy and she just wanted to get out of the room and this is what she was seeing um, after being in here for a very long time hope you um enjoyed watching hope uh, uh this pretty much made sense um thank you so much for your time have a good one